was her family mm -hmm. uh, coming from uh, the mountains, basically, mm -hmm. and and uh, and Beirut and Zahli and Tyre and Sidon, mm -hmm. um, um, you know, all that area where you know Phoenician culture thrived centuries ago, mm -hmm. um, and for me it was the world of my parents and my mm -hmm. grandparents and. Uh, mm -hmm and uh, the marking points of their distinctive uh, culture. But I think what was significant is that what each of our cultures became important for the other person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brad. So uh, I was struck by the fact, like as Jerome pointed out, the nostalgia and the warmth of Montreal that you were experiencing. And uh, it's, it, you know, it just, you were just, it's captivating. But then late in the book, you talk about your parents doing what every Jew did that made it and migrating out to the suburbs and that happened in Toronto oh, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. They all left yeah. Kensington Market yeah. which is you know I'm sure the kids loved it and then they leave so what happened because I'm sure when you go out to Montreal you go to Baron Bing or that neighborhood you never go to the the suburbs. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah I mean occasionally if I drive through those suburbs it's by accident. Yeah yeah. But invariably uh -huh. uh, I go to, I mean, there's a... Uh, they weren't in your world. <laughs> my, 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 your parents, in a way. My, my former boss is uh, sitting here yeah. in, the, in the audience, yeah. and I remember taking, showing him around uh, the Montreal of my childhood, yeah. and, you know, we didn't go to the suburbs. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we went to the high school, and we went to uh, the synagogue that, uh, mm -hmm. that my brother and I went to for the, for the holidays, and... Uh, um, uh, and what's called the Main Street. How many of you have been to Montreal? Oh, quite a few of you, my God, okay. So many of you must know St. Lawrence Boulevard, which yeah. sort of bisects the city. And when I was growing up, it bisected the city into its Anglo area and its Francophone area. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, I mean, the particular area that I grew up in was the area that means something to me. Mm -hmm. The rest of it was like any other city, basically. Mm -hmm. and, you know, didn't have any particular character, and I find that I'm I'm not very high on cities as such. Mm. I like you know the areas that that are distinctive that represent something that mm -hmm. means something to some person or some specific group of persons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.